Welcome everybody to the Department of Arts and Culture's virtual discussion on the Eisenhower Park Bloom Series number four public art installation. Before we get started, we're going to have a message from Councilman Manny Palias. Please note that we are having a little bit of difficulty with this particular video. Uh, it is the only video that we do have a little bit of difficulty with, um, but you should be able to get the message pretty clear. And we're gonna kick it off to the councilman now and then we will continue with the presentation. So welcome, and we're glad you're here. Here's City Councilman Manny Palaez here. I am standing in District 8's Eisenhower Park, a jewel of a park, your park. And I'm very excited that you're joining us today with the Department of Arts and Cultures to talk about this new art installation series called Bloom. Now, the idea is for Eisenhower to host one of these installations. And if you haven't seen it yet, you're gonna love it. It's these enormous metal flowers that are made of bicycle parts. They're fascinating. But since it's your park, we are looking for your input. This series is gonna be placed along the Howard Peak Greenway, 69 miles of Greenway punctuated by this beautiful public art. But like I said, your input is necessary, which is why I'm gonna hand it off now to our friends at the Department of Arts and Culture so they can work with you to really kind of understand what you're thinking and to make sure that you understand how important and impressive this installation is gonna be. Thanks. Hi, my name is Bianca Alvarez, Public Art Project Manager for the City's Department of Arts and Culture and Project Manager of the Public Art Project coming to District 8's Eisenhower Park, Bloom Series Number 4. Joining me is my virtual co-host, Casey Lomelli at ArtPace San Antonio with a few words to share. Thank you, Bianca. Um, yes, as she said, my name is Casey Lamelli, and I am the Communications Manager here at ArtPace San Antonio. We are so happy to be here today in our galleries hosting tonight's virtual engagement event with the Department of Arts and Culture. ArtPace San Antonio is a nonprofit residency program which supports San Antonio artists as well as regional, national, and international artists in the creation of new art. We have welcomed over 245 um, artists through our International Artists in Residency program, which provides artists with unparalleled resources that allow them to experiment with take provocative risks. Um, however, like many art organizations, we have been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. As a nonprofit artist residency, we rely on the support of individuals like you to help keep our doors open and our programs strong. And yes, our doors are open. Um, our staff and guest safety remain our top priority. So we've implemented safety precautions in line with the latest CDC recommendations, as well as the Greater Safer Together Pledge. We require all guests to wear masks, um, get a temperature check upon entry to the building, practice social distancing, and much more. Currently on view are our Spring 2020 Resident Artist Exhibitions, including the gallery I'm in now, which features the work of Daniel Ramos. Um, next door, we have the work of Milagros de la Torre, and upstairs, in our upstairs gallery, we have the work of Carlos Castro Arias. Um, these exhibitions are on view only for a few more weeks until September 20th. Also on view, and it's spread through all, all throughout the building, you can see our exhibition Visibility, the Intrepid Women of Art Pace. Um, with an eye to equity, this exhibition seeks to highlight and amplify global voices of a bold and powerful female identifying artistic community. The works address issues of identity, femaleness, gender, femininity, and so on. This year, Art Pace celebrates its 25th birthday, but also in 2020, the U.S. celebrates the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote. This exhibition is on view until December 27, 2020. To schedule a visit to Art Pace or to donate, you can visit artpace.org, and we hope to see you in our gallery soon. Back to you, Bianca.
Thank you, Casey. Thank you so much. Let's see, I'm waiting for the slide. Okay, there we go. So throughout this presentation, you can send questions directly to the Department of Arts and Culture by clicking on the chat icon on the bottom of your screen. We'll do our best to respond to your questions before the end of this meeting, and if we do not address your questions during this time, we'll be sure to follow up via email afterwards. So today we'll be looking at the Expanding Bloom series in our project overview with a message from our featured artist, Leticia Huerta, and talk about next steps and answering your questions. But first, what is public art? The Department of, of Arts and Culture defines public art as art in a public place that has been through a public engagement process, like this one, to determine where the art will be placed, who the artist will be, and what will be the inspiration or themes for the art. Our projects are approved by, the, by our Arts Commission, managed by a public art project manager like myself, and usually paid with public funds. Every public art project goes through a rigorous process that includes stakeholder and community engagement and approvals for locations, artists, and designs from our Public Art Committee and San Antonio Arts Commission, all before moving to fabrication and installation. We celebrate the completion of each project with a dedication ceremony that is open to everyone. Right now, we're in the complete community engagement or design phase of the process, where we need your help in determining what the art will look like before the artist begins design. Next slide. So just a little background, the Department of Arts and Culture has been working closely with the Parks and Rec Department to enhance local parks and greenways with public art through the Linear Creekway system. The goal is to increase neighborhood connectivity, create a visual identity for the linear creeks, and place more art on the Greenway Trail. So here we have pictured some, some, of the, some images of the artworks that you will find along parks and trails in San Antonio. Next slide. And Bloom is one of those public art projects within the Linear Creekway System strategy. So here we're looking at the original installation of the Bloom series completed in January 2019 and installed at Mud Creek at McAllister Park. The concept and design of the oversized metal flowers was conceived by San Antonio artist Leticia Huerta, who will speak about the artwork, her inspiration, and share a bit about herself soon. Also pictured are images of the native flora that inspired the sculpture's design. As part of our public art process, those flowers were selected through our SA Speak Up Community Engagement Survey, which is the same approach uh, for the upcoming locations we're looking at today. Next slide. So as I mentioned, we're working closely with the Parks and Rec Department to identify project locations along the Linear Creekway system. This is the full map for all of the Bloom locations. And with the very first one in District 10 at McAllister Park that was completed in January 2019. We have two uh, in the spring 2021 at District 1's Riverwalk and District 5 Apache Creek Brazos Pocket Park that is currently in design. And today we are discussing Salado Creek's Eisenhower Park in District 8 set for completion in summer 2021. There's one in District 3 coming to Southside Lions Park for fall 2021. Another one in District 1 at Alazan Creek, Badias Park for spring 2022. And our seventh and last installation in District 6, Hazel Road facility for summer 2022. For each of these locations, we will, we will revisit with the community for input on which flowers you would like to see planted in these neighborhood areas. Next slide. Thank you. So Bloom number four, Salado Creek at Eisenhower Park is the location we're focusing on for today. Eisenhower Park is located near Camp Bullis in the Texas Hill Country, featuring over six miles of paved and unpaved trails. Currently, part of the site is under construction for the creation of a new trailhead where Bloom will be installed. It is our goal to plant, 
three unique bloom flowers here. Next slide. So in the very first round of community engagement, 72% of participants stated that it was important for the art to connect to the region's flora. So these native flowers were selected as options for Eisenhower Park. Through the survey, you can help us select three out of the four flowers pictured here for the design. We have the Blackfoot Daisy, Green Thread, Cedar Sage, and Antelope Horns Milkweed. Slide. So I encourage you to please take our survey on SurveyMonkey or by visiting our website. The survey is also available in Spanish and the links will be posted in the meetings chat. Please note some important dates here. So the survey has been open since July 14th, 2020 and the window to provide feedback through an online survey or in a direct email to myself closes on September 11th, 2020. We will then post a final report of the community input on our website by October 1st, 2020. Attendees or participants on today's WebEx meeting will receive a follow-up email with this information and more detailed instructions. Next slide. So this is the project schedule, and so currently we are in the community engagement phase that will close uh, for feedback and surveys by September 11th, 2020. We will move into final design in December 2020 with fabrication in spring 2021 and an installation and dedication in summer 2021. And next, we will watch a short video from our featured artist, Leticia Huerta. For those calling in and are not watching the presentation on a computer screen, unfortunately, you will not be able to hear the video. So we appreciate your patience over the next four minutes and ask that you please stay on the line. We will send the presentation with the video after this meeting. Hello, I'm Leticia Huerta, artist of the Bloom Projects. I am a San Antonio native. I received my BFA in painting here at UTSA and my MFA in Dallas at SMU. And while I was at SMU, I also interned at the Dallas Office of Cultural Affairs where I was introduced to public art. The first public art project that I worked on there in Dallas was with the Dallas Rapid Transit System at three of their light rail stations on their starter line in the early 1990s. It was my first experience working in public art and working with a design team and meeting with the community to gather information that would inform our design process, much as we're doing today. In Dallas, I was working also as a studio artist, exhibiting locally around the state and in the U.S. as well, while continuing to work still for DART and, and the public art projects there. I moved back home in 1999 and began working on projects here in San Antonio while also teaching at UTSA, at SAC, Incarnate Word. I did that for a few years. So some of my projects here in town include the Woodlawn Lake Project, the UTSA Downtown Project, and University Hospital, and Robert B. Green, the Downtown Clinic. I also worked on projects throughout Texas, California, North Carolina, and Arizona. And if you want to check out some of my projects, please visit my website. It's just my name, LeticiaHuerta.com. So the Bloom series began a few years ago when I was selected to work on the project at Mud Creek Trail, which is within McAllister Park. It's a hike and bike trail. And as we went in for the site visit and walked around the trail, I was immediately struck by the beauty of 
the wildflowers. And so I knew that my concept for this project had to be about them. And so eventually the design became about the wildflowers and bicycles or the bicycle parts that also to me have an organic feel and that they have circular parts and and kind of resemble flowers. So I synthesized the two into the design that you see at, at Mud Creek in McAllister Park. If you haven't seen them, I think they're on this presentation. So the sculptures also serve as a wayfinding element in that they guide you to the entrance of the trailhead. And the stems on these uh, sculptures have text and lines that tell you about flooding in the area and which is very important because it is in a floodplain. So my goal overall as a public artist is to create meaningful and inspiring work in spaces that are visited by people for many different types of reasons. Some are transit stations, so you're there briefly, parks, hospitals, schools, or bridges. Each project is different and is inspired by the community, the culture, the environment, the history. The materials vary within each project because of its location or whatever it happens to be, like a bridge um, or a wall or whatever it is. And in this project, in the Bloom series, I continue to use all of the knowledge and experience that I have in public art. And I will continue to use the wildflower and the bicycle as my inspiration for the projects. And I look forward to reading your comments or hearing your comments to guide me in the design of these new sculptures. Thank you so much. Okay, so um, we appreciate any comments that have been submitted and we will be answering questions now. If you have not submitted your questions in our chat, please do so by clicking on the chat icon on the bottom of your screen. Send them our way. Now's your chance and um, we'll wait a moment here to see if anything pops up. We're good to wrap. We're good to wrap. Okay, just got the cue. We're good to go. That wraps up our program for today. If you have any um, unaddressed questions or concerns, please feel free to email me at bianca.alvarez at sanantonio.gov. My phone number is also available here, 210-207-6963. We really appreciate you tuning in today, and if you can, please help us spread the word. Fill out the official Essay Speak Up Bloom survey, which will be emailed to everyone who registered to this WebEx. And the survey can also be found on, in the public art section of our website, along with a recording of this virtual meeting. So go to www.sanantonio.gov slash art. And if you haven't already, sign up for our department newsletter, follow us on social media, to stay up to date on projects and art events in the community. Thank you so much for joining us today. <laughs>